The new ASPX file manager control is a very slick and easy to use control. It gives your end users the power of a file explorer by exposing your files that you choose to them through ASP.NET file manager. Now, say for example, I had a folder that I wanted to display to my end users. I want to allow them to create files in there or access them or even delete and upload to that directory as well. So in this demo, I've got a folder here called content and some of the files in here are what I want to display to the end user. So let's take a look in there. Here I've got a bunch of different icons, images, files in there. And what I want to display to the end user is files within this file manager folder. So if you see in here, there's a structure called files which has documents, images, music, video, a couple of other files as well as thumbnails. And I want to display this to the end user. So I'm going to drop an ASPX file manager on this empty pager. So I'll go to the toolbox and under the DX 10.2 common controls category, I'll find the ASPX file manager control. I'll double click on it, drop it on the form. Now immediately we can see that this control is fully featured. And from the smart tag, I can do things like set up an auto format, a theme, as well as allowing some permissions. Now I'll get back to this in a minute. First, let's set up the location. Now, to point to the ASPX file manager, I'm going to go to the properties, select the ASPX file manager, and under settings, I'm just going to set up some of the initial items. For example, the root folder. Now here, I know my root folder is under the content folder, file manager, and files. Now just to verify, I'll go back and check my solution explorer, and yes, it's under content, file manager, files. And I want to set up an initial folder to show this under. So I'm going to set the uh, settings initial folder. Now to save some time, I'll just cut and paste this up here. And I'll point to the images subfolder as the initial folder I wanted to display. Now I want to give it a thumbnail folder so that when thumbnails are created, it's going to use this thumbnail folder. And luckily there's already a thumbnail folder. So I'll go back and I'll verify that it is under the content file manager thumbnails folder. Now let's take a quick look at this in action. Now I can see that the ASPX file manager has gone to that subfolder that I told it under content file manager and it's gone to the initial folder of images. Now the ASPX file manager shows a tree view as well as some icons. So if some new folders get uploaded by another user, they can always hit refresh and they will show up here, as well as allowing some uploads. Now here, I can choose a file, choose an image, and select upload. Now you can see we had a nice little progress bar that was displayed while the image was uploaded. And if I've allowed it, the end user can also delete the files that are available in the folders, as well as moving folders and deleting and creating new folders. Now. The true power of the file manager is they can easily go around. So here we have an images folder, and because they're images, the file manager displays me the thumbnails for those pictures, as well as they can go around to different folders. Now, because there's a hierarchy, the tree view is automatically displayed, so I can go to subfolders very easily by just clicking on the plus and minus sign. Now, let's enable a couple more permissions here. So I'll go to the SPX file manager, I'm gonna click at smart tag, and here I'm gonna allow creating folders, renaming, moving, as well as deleting. Now let's take a quick look at this in action. Now that I've enabled the permission, I can select Koala and easily delete it from my server. As well as, I can create another folder here and give it a new name like test. Now if we go back to our Solution Explorer, we should be able to see that new folder created for us on the server. So let's go back to Solution Explorer. I'm going to refresh this folder and under images we see test. Now let's say I wanted to control what type of files are actually being uploaded and what file type of files the end user can have access to. What you can do is set up the ASPX file manager to filter only for a certain file type, so allowed file extensions. So we're going to set here a string, so I'll, I'll click on the uh, ellipsis here to bring up the string collection editor and enter in a comma separated value of file extensions. So here I'm going to allow some image types like JPEGs as well as some documents like RTF text and some other file types like AVI, MP3, and Docs. 
I'll click OK. Now, the end users will be restricted to only those allowed file extension types. Now, the ASPX file manager is also very extensible. So I can control not just the file extensions, but if I wanted to, I can control everything from what happens in the folders. For example, if I were to display the root folder, I can hide the ASP.NET folders, and as well as control what type of editing options the end user has. Now, you also have a capability to display a custom loading panel if you want, as well as what gets showed in the toolbar, as well as disabling any upload functionality. For example, I'm going to disable it by just setting enabled property for the settings upload to false here. Now, let's take a quick look at this in action. Now, you can see that we've got rid of the our upload functionality, as well as we're limiting what type of file extensions can be seen by the end user. Now, one thing you can also control is how the icons are displayed. So say, for example, for RTF and TXT, you'd rather not use the standard blank images for RTF and text. And let's say you wanted to use custom thumbnails. Well, there's an event for that. So we'll go to the ASPX file manager, and I'm going to click on the events here, and I'll click on the custom thumbnail. Now, the custom thumbnail allows us, um, I'll double click to override it, but allows us to define those custom thumbnails based on the file extension. So here, this bit of code will simply take a look at the file extension type. And if it matches a certain extension type, we will display a custom image for that. And it's simply setting the thumbnail image.url to some images that I'll import in from our demos folder. So for example, for I want to use a custom thumbnail for movie. Now, I can pull that in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to create a folder called images. Now, I'll right click, add a new folder call it images. I'll right click again on images and I'm going to add existing item. Now existing item simply means that this folder is going to copy from an existing source on your file manager somewhere. So if you take a look at the ASPX demos, all of the source code is available to you. Now in the demos there is a ASP experience demo and I'm going to find this folder which has a lot of these custom icons and thumbnails that I want to use and I'm going to bring that into my folder here and you're free to use these as well. So I'll go to that folder, and I'm going to select all files so that I can see that here, and I'll bring these in to the images folder. Now it's not moving them, it's simply copying them from that location into my current folder here. So now, when the ASPX file manager runs, it's going to hit the custom thumbnail, and if it finds the AVI extension, it's going to use the AVI extension, which is movie, what we defined here. Now, let's take a quick look at this in action. Now, if I go back to the documents page, I'll see that it's using a custom logo for RTF as well as TXT. If I go to music, it'll find the MP3 icon as well as custom icons for the movie. Thank you for watching.